What's up, Nicholas here from Growth Marketer. And in this video, I wanna review a landing page that is actually a really good page. Uh, so many of these videos are all about ripping the page apart and trying to find everything that's wrong with it. But this one, I feel like for the most part, they have almost everything going right. And so let's get right to it. This is a company called Main Street. And I forget where I first saw this page, but I immediately looked at it and got the main idea of what this page is about and just thought it was such a well-executed landing page. I wanted to make a short video to explain exactly what they're doing here and help you leverage these same principles on your website or your landing page. Now I should point out, this is currently their homepage. So technically it's not a landing page. If we look at the, the definition of a landing page, it wouldn't necessarily be the homepage. But in this case, because it's such a well-executed homepage and it has so many of the landing page principles that we talk about all the time, I wanted to really focus in on those principles, even though it's being used as a homepage. So let's get right to it. So the company is called Main Street. And what's really cool is the first thing you're gonna notice is the headline. It really jumps out at you. And it says, you're owed over $50,000, we'll get it back for you. And 50,000 is underlined in blue. It's very clear what they're trying to do here. They're trying to save you money by giving some type of rebate. So it definitely gets you interested to read more. And that's really the purpose of a headline. You wanna read the headline and then it should pull you into the page. And then you should say, hmm, I wanna learn more about this. So I'm gonna read the sub headline and the call to action buttons and then possibly scroll down the page. So here you can read the sub headline. It says every year the government sets aside billions in tax credits. It takes 20 minutes to qualify and we do all the paperwork for you. So it really justifies that headline. It's not just some kind of a lottery, but they're really giving justification for how they're gonna try to save you money. And you start to see, okay, this is for startups because there's this, this call out here at the top that says for startups. So now if you're not a startup, well, you know that's probably not a good fit for you, but if you're still reading, then chances are you work at a startup or you're a startup founder and this is something you would be interested in. So this headline, it's very much value focused and it answers the question, uh, what's in it for me? I've often talked about the acronym WIFM, W-I-I-F-M, which stands for what's in it for me. And this is a question that people have as they visit your website or your landing page. They wanna know how are you gonna help them? And so this headline does a really good job with that. The other thing that's really good here are the call to action buttons. So you see they really jump out at you with that blue text and it says get started. And then they have this other secondary call to action which would be a little bit harder to see, uh, which is good because you don't wanna have two calls to action that are fighting with each other. So you wanna have one primary call to action, which in this case is get started, but then they have the secondary CTA, talk to an expert. When you click on that one, it opens up a Calendly integration so you could schedule some time to chat. Let's close that out real quick. And if you click on the blue button, get started, you'll see that takes you to the second page. What's really cool about this is that they have a testimonial here on the side. And this is a really important takeaway. If you have any type of sign up process or shopping cart, e-commerce process, where you need people to enter in some information and maybe it's gonna take several steps, you can help keep them motivated and keep them on task by having some type of social proof or some type of trust element alongside this, the page. So in this case, they're using these testimonials, which in my opinion, they, str they scroll very quickly. I would probably just have one testimonial here. I wouldn't have this scrolling sidebar of testimonials, uh, but this is a really good principle to reinforce the decision that someone made to click on that button, and it's gonna help them rest assured that they made the right choice and they're going to continue with that process. But let's go back and let's look at the homepage one more time. So as we scroll down, you see here they have some trust icons and they say, we've saved startups millions, right? And then they have some well-known startups here like Ugly, TaskAid, Pipe. These are well-known in Silicon Valley, especially. And so it automatically builds a sense of trust with the page. And you also have what I like to call statistical social proof where they've mentioned millions. They've saved startups millions. And so they're putting a number to exactly how much they've been able to save. What's really cool is when you hover over these, you can also see the exact amounts that they've saved these startups, which I think is really cool just how they've executed that. Uh, one other thing that I think is really well done here above the fold is just the simplicity of it. So often I see landing pages that are cluttered and they have background images and they have a whole bunch of stuff popping out at you and sticky bars and pop-ups. Here, this is pretty much all you're gonna see. And from all the times I visited this site, 
I have not seen a pop-up or a sticky bar, and I'm not against pop-ups or sticky bars. I use them all the time, but in some cases, simplicity wins, and I think this is a really good example of simplicity uh, being executed very, very well. The other cool thing, though, is that they're using Intercom, which is a very popular customer service platform and live chat platform, and you can see here, it has this little call out that says, claim your $50,000 now, schedule time, or chat with an expert. So I think that's really interesting. They're not just putting the live chat or the chat bot on the page and sort of setting it and forgetting it. They're letting it give this additional call to action because a lot of times people don't want to engage with a form or they don't want to just fill out a Calendly link. They want to have a chat with somebody. And so if you are using a live chat tool, a takeaway from this would be to see if you have the option to add some type of dynamic call out that maybe pops up just like this, where it's not obnoxious and it's not gonna be in your face, but it just gives people another thing to engage with. And what's really cool is they have that little one, this little red circle here that sort of looks like a notification icon on your phone. And psychologically, we're gonna be drawn to that because we don't wanna have an incomplete task. It's, there's a lot of science there, uh, and I'm sure that's why Intercom has gone with that design. Now, as we scroll down the page, you see they have this how it works section, which is really good for any time you have a product or a service that takes a bit of explaining, right? Because they're making a very substantial claim here. They're going to help save you money. And in many cases, this, this is a lot of money that they're talking about. So you want to learn more about the process before you make any type of commitment. So in this case, they have it all broken down into steps, but they only have three steps. So this is another important takeaway. If you have multiple steps in your process, you should explain them, but make it as simple as possible. If they had 10 steps here, that would probably turn a lot of people away. So keep your processes simple, even if it means you have to take your extended process and truncate it for your landing page, just for the sake of simplicity. Then as we scroll down, another important takeaway here is that they repeat the calls to action throughout the page. So I always say you should have a call to action at the top of the page, no matter what, because you want people to know right off the top what you want them to do. And you should have one at the bottom of your page, which they do here. And then depending on the length of your page, you should also have a call to action a couple times in between. So for longer pages, you wanna have multiple calls to action throughout the page, and you should always have one at the top and the bottom. Because sometimes people will scroll all the way to the bottom, and if there's no call to action there, they might not know what exactly they need to do next. So that is really well done. Let's scroll back up to the next section. So this one is also really well executed. Let me just close out this little intercom widget here. So here it says, we only get paid when you do. So again, they're answering a key question that someone may have, because you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what's in it for them, right? If they're gonna save you all this money, how did they make money? And so they say, we only get paid when you do, we're on your side, we only make money when you get paid, which is really good, because they're overcoming that objection you might have if you're thinking, well, do I have to pay them up front? Is, is this a scam? So that really answers a key objection. So the takeaway here is whatever key objections you have in your business or whatever questions come up, try to answer those on your landing page. That's so important and it's very well done here. And then they have these little call out sections and this is also very well executed because they have these six different sections which are each talking about a specific feature or point of value or some benefit that they're providing. They have these really minimal icons, so it's not over the top in your face, but each one of these sort of stands on its own as a different way that they're providing value to you as a potential customer. Let's look at one of them. So here it says, no more waiting, get tax credits as they're earned, not on tax day. So now they're talking about helping you save time and get more money quicker. So again, they're focusing on just one really important benefit or feature in each of those callouts. Then as we scroll down, they have a very important section here, which is testimonials. I've talked a lot about the importance of social proof on landing pages, and this is done so well. They have these logos here, and of course, Product Hunt, everybody knows Product Hunt. Uh, they have so many different really cool companies here that are giving testimonials, but they go beyond just a company giving a testimonial because they have a, a headshot from a person who's giving the testimonial. They have their full name, they have their position and the company. So it's pretty much everything you need to know that these testimonials are legit because we've often seen testimonials that have no headshot or maybe it's just a first name and you say, that's totally fake. I just know it's fake. But here, obviously, uh, these are really well done. Ryan Hoover, he's very well known in the Silicon Valley space. 
And so these are really well executed testimonials. Now they have a lot of testimonials here, and I don't know if I would put this many on the page, but again, this seems to be working for them. The main takeaway though, is you want to have some type of social proof on your page and the more details you can add to your testimonial, like they've done, the more authentic they're going to look because a testimonial is only good if it's going to be trusted. Then as you scroll down, they have a very simple footer. Again, they've ended with a call to action with the main buttons. They have another headline here that says, get, get back cash that you're already owed. So again, they're reminding you of what they do. And then they have some simple links down here. Now, if this page was going to be used for paid media, like Google ads or a Facebook campaign, I would probably take out some of these links like the blog post, because you don't really want to link out to other pages that could distract the visitor. You want to keep the visitor on task and on this page. But overall, I think this is really well executed. You can also see throughout this video, I've been scrolling up and down. You could see what it looks like on mobile. It's very well optimized on mobile as well. So overall, I think this is a great page to learn from. It's simple, it's effective, and they did a really good job with all the main elements and great compelling copy. So hopefully you, you learned some things from this video. If you want more videos like this, I recommend that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. So hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be covering a lot more on landing page optimization, growth marketing, and everything you need to know to become the smartest marketer in the room. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.